Hello, this is Positive Poker 72 and we're gonna continue our MicroStakes Madness series today. <laughs> Still on 2NL, but again, we're just gonna try. We couldn't manage to win a session for three videos in a row. 200 hands, we're gonna play again and hopefully make it a good session today. Finally turn around the curse and yeah, win a session on 2NL. Let's see. Um, yeah, the, the title of the video, as always, is to play solid. I think that's the best plan on NL2, so definitely gonna focus on that. Just uh, fold, fold what, what, uh, what should not be played too, too crazy, right? Um, this one I think we can overlimp, like, probably a fun player. We got a decent price in the small blind. Could maybe, if we have some reads on Big Plant that he's isolating a lot, definitely just fold. Mm, gonna check turn again and just fold against the bat. Yeah, let's see. I mean, uh, NL2 seems to be rigged. I don't know. Again, it's just 200 hands. There's gonna be a lot of variance. Mm. Not gonna open too wide here. Blinds again seem loose, so we're gonna. Stay a little bit tighter. As, as I said, really try to, to focus on playing solid. Um, there's not uh, <laughs> why I, I, I uh, paused before for a second. Because um, I was surprised there was no table coming up on the left. That's because it's Monday afternoon and there's just 28 entries on uh, the Italian Poker Stars right now, Zoom Pool. <laughs> So uh, hopefully we don't have to wait too long. I mean, it would be nice to get some hands in. Is it suited? Uh, is nine suited? I mean, I think we can free bet once here. It's kind of uh, thin maybe, but I think he's a rack. I think he's folding a lot of hands, so I don't mind. We flop a flush draw. Just kind of bad it, I think. Not flush draw shouldn't be too bad. You just bat right away. He can have jacks, he can have sevens, but yeah, then like ace queen, he's gonna be in a tough spot already. And if we get it in, we, we can't really fold. He can have some worse flush draws, maybe too. Like king 10, uh, gonna fold here. King 10 of diamonds, king queen of diamonds. I don't know how loose he defends pre flop, but yeah. I like the start too. Good start today. <laughs> um, a size offsuit could be an open. Again, lines seem to be quite loose, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. Mm, probably fun players. Again, 2NL, I would not advise anyone to play that, but if you if you do enjoy it, if you have a really small bankroll and just want to try a bit, definitely it's fine, but if you want to take it more seriously, definitely try to start from higher stakes. I would say at least and five and L or ten and L. Mm. Yeah, I think that's usually the way to go. I'm gonna check call, kind of standard here. No reason to bad. No reason. Um, yeah. I think same on the turn. If he checks again, we're gonna value bet river, but our hand is a nice bluff catcher. He bets two cents. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to raise. Maybe we lead some rivers. The ace not. The ace is really annoying. I hope he really, he really shuts down now. <laughs> he pots it now. What the heck? I mean, he's wrapping an ace kind of, right? He min bets turn and pots the river. We block queen jack, but other than that, I think folding is kind of standard against that size. We're gonna have a lot of ace x, but I don't know if I had some reads. I mean, he's wrapping really thin. He might have a lot of hands pre flop. I think I'm actually gonna fold, but it's kind of, yeah, kind of thin. I wouldn't mind calling there. If we know, if we know he has a really wide range pre flop, like. He flats six seven offsuit seven six offsuit there or I don't know king king nine and stuff. Um, we might we might call that because he can just have a lot of possible bluffs then. 
But again, no no reads on these players here. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, 10 7 Sue that we might open. I feel like the players behind. Maybe Button is not a regular, but the blinds seem regular, so I would expect them to fold a lot. Maybe Button is a problem. Nice flop on the left, obviously. <laughs> Looks like a good spot for us. Top pair plus flash draw. The bet's quite big into four players, so this shouldn't be too weak. I'm just gonna play it safe and call. Hope for a diamond, hope for a jack. We get pot into, just gonna fold, no equity. Jack is really nice, now we beat all the over pairs. Just hoping he doesn't have a full house already or a better jack X. Just click here. I'm just gonna call down. We hit the flash too. Yeah, standard is just calling. Maybe we could think about leading river, but again, I don't mind. Um, I'm gonna tell you what he had because unfortunately I can't show you on stream. On stream in the video, I mean. By the way, check out Twitch stream. I'm, I'm quite active there. What did he have? Pocket eights. Wow. Pocket eights. That was not expected. I mean, for him even betting that into four people. That seems kind of a little bit loose. But again, I mean, it's 2 and L. I shouldn't even think too much about it, right? <laughs> but definitely seems not too standard. Five, just gonna fold a lot of hands. Yeah, I'm really hoping we can finally win a session here, because then I'm definitely not gonna play to an L anymore. Not on not on video, just uh maybe for you guys it's nice to watch, but I really don't recommend it with the huge rake and yeah, it's just gonna be suboptimal, I guess. Could check standard C bet half pot. Could go bigger, smaller, maybe. Ace is not too amazing. Definitely gonna check this back. Even though he's gonna have a lot of hands. Um, Club River? Not again. Jack Hates gets there too. 10 cents, I don't think we can fold, but probably he has a, an 8 a lot. I mean, an Ace. Wow, Aces! Wow, uh, we we lost the minimum, I guess. We got lucky there. He didn't. He he limp called the aces. Wow, definitely gonna race up here, my straight. No reason to slow play, I think. I wouldn't expect people to fold a ton. Actually, he folds. <laughs> Again, really no reason to slow play too much, since I think people are gonna tend to pay off more than. To blast away. But maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe if some someone in the um, someone watching plays 2NL regularly, you can tell me like what adjustments I, I'm doing wrong. Because usually obviously I play NL NL 100 plus, so it's not like <laughs> I'm not used to these takes. I just think it's nice for video because I never stream these takes. I'm gonna do a, a nice challenge. I'm gonna announce that in, in October, I think. So I might get used to a 2NL. <laughs> um, also, I'm not sure, you know, back in, back in the days, um, we, we used to call it always NL2, right? I don't know why it changed now to 2NL, like kind of switching the, the letters there. Mm. Like, you know, first writing the NL and then the number for the stake. Pocket force. Mm, I'm actually gonna fold. I don't know. Maybe we could flat actually. But players behind seem to be wreck, so if there were front players in the blinds, I would definitely flat it. Again, on the button it's usually quite nice to play, obviously, because we're in position, that's always a good spot for us. But then, uh, I mean, similar to here, I think it's kind of nice to isolate. Probably worst ace act I would isolate. 
Ice King, we get a good flop. Just gonna see that big. Seems to be a rack, I think. Right. Jack is kind of okay. Not not too amazing. Queen Jack, he could have King Ten maybe. Ace Jack maybe as well. I'm not sure. But I'm still gonna value bet against all his worst ace acts against some draws. River. I don't think we can get bet too huge. I don't think he calls down now with face eight or something. But he might he might call um smaller size or check calling. I think half pot I'm gonna go. Maybe block could be fine too. I don't expect too many races, light races, I mean, here. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Queen Jack, yeah, that's that's kind of the hand we're targeting, you know, with a block bet. We do really don't want to get raised and stuff. Kind of an annoying spot. Maybe it's kind of thin already on the river. Here I'm just gonna jam, even though, again, Turn is not too amazing, 8-9 gets there, some straights he could have, but I feel like he's gonna have so many 7x and 6x, some 5x obviously. He could have two, yeah, 6-8. That, that makes sense. I'm glad he didn't he didn't have it this time. Just gonna fold against the pot size here four ways. Uh, queen Jack, middle position. King Jack off suit, I'm gonna fold, I think, and Queen Jack as well. Again, gonna try to play quite tight. Maybe I should play more, um, like not zoom, but regular tables. I think that uh, that way we could even get more reads and stuff. Maybe for future videos that could be an idea. I think on, in, in, on the challenge on stream, I'm gonna play almost only regular tables because there I can play four tables. It's better to watch, I think. Um, but with two tables, I think Zoom is really nice because we just get more hands in, right? King Jack again. I'm gonna actually open this time because these people behind seem tight, and Small Blind seems to be a fun, yeah, fun player. So we're targeting him with this open race. Um, King Jack should be strong enough to play against the in position against the white range, um, not the best flop. I'm not gonna check it back. Hopefully, hit some equity uh, like this one, and we get a tiny bet. Definitely, just gonna call. It could be raising, but I think calling is kind of standard. Or sense we're not gonna fold, even though there's obvious straights out there. <laughs> it's Jack, nice hand. We were even <laughs> dominated. Mm, let's see. We also got a new logo, as you probably noticed, so stay tuned for what's next to come. There's definitely also gonna be more YouTube stuff coming. I really hope you enjoy enjoy this content. I mean, it's all for free. It's just it's fun to make. It's fun to create a little bit of a community around the game. So that's why I'm doing it. It's not for, I don't know. Some people ask me if I coach or anything, but I'm, I'm not doing that. I just do it because I really enjoy making these videos and streaming, it's the same as well. Mm. Okay. Again, I think on NL2, we can't defend a hand like this on higher stakes, definitely. Because rake is just gonna be too huge here. At least I would guess. I haven't done any studies or simulations, but <laughs> that that's what my um, gut tells me. <laughs> what my instincts tell me. So It's nine three ways. We are just gonna give up. Not too much equity. I mean, nine of spades is kind of nice. Ace of clubs also, but I think it's a little bit too weak. Three ways to see that on such kind of connected middling cards. These snapjacks that should usually mean quite uh, weakness. So 
I'm gonna try to bluff turn E checks again. I think they could be kind of weak here. And we pick up a gacha too, that's always nice, right? We have a little bit more acuity as well, so I think it's a good spot to start bluffing once. 6-7, I'm gonna defend against the min race. And fold against the tiny C vet even. <laughs> I actually forgot to open the curtains, maybe I should do that. <laughs> Maybe lightning would be better for my webcam. Let's just maybe do that real quick. Sit out next hand. I'm just gonna be back in 10 seconds. I think this way it should be should be a little bit better. Alright. Um just gonna check here. Um And value bet river, I guess, with the nine. I think it's should be good enough. Especially the ledges pocket hands. Wow. What's going on on 2 and L? I mean, people are just not free betting, right? It seems like. Mm, again, opening a little looser because big blind seems to be the, the spot here. Small blind comes along as well, who's probably a rack with five stacks there. All right, no more equity. I think we can bet once here with our gacha. I'm not gonna go too big. Uh, maybe bet turn as well. King nine four is kind of good flop for us, and, and they shouldn't go too crazy. Like small blind has a lot of pairs, I would assume, which might fold right away on the flop. Mm -hmm. Again. Right now, actually, the player number increased a bit. Right now, there's 37 entries in the pool, so that's not too bad. A5 suited should be good enough. I think he's a rack, probably, too. Yeah, maybe next time. I really hope we win this session, and next time I'm just going to do regular tables, maybe. <laughs> I think that would be kind of nice. It's gonna go 32. Maybe we should just free bet a lot because people are, are never free betting and we might get a lot of credit then. <laughs> Alright, we get some folds. Maybe that's the you know that's the adjustment on 2NL. Just free bet a lot. Aces, nice, finally. I think this was one of the first times we got aces in this series. <laughs> that's why we couldn't. I'm actually gonna open the 6 8 suitors as well because players behind seem quite tight. I'm using a really simple hat. Um, he's leading here, which is not kind of standard. Ooh, no, nah, what did I do? I wanted to give him a note and I quick folded the ace. What the fuck? <laughs> Beep. Uh, you know, I misclicked here in the sit out next big plant. That just snap folded the aces. No surprise, I can't win on 2 and L. I mean, <laughs> I can't click the buttons, right? I'm gonna fold this. There seems to be some loose players behind. Man, that was such a nice spot, you know? He even let into us. On Queen 7 4 Rainbow. I mean, that's just too annoying. That's really annoying. What can we do? <laughs> Holy crap. Mm, I'm just gonna check it down. Yeah, what was I talking about? Hopefully we really can win this session so I can finally quit this series. I mean, 2 and is not fun to play. <laughs> Especially when you're not running that great. Probably a rack. Fold to 10 deuce offsuit. Even though we get a great price, but 10 deuce is just not gonna... Not gonna be in there. Jack seven, us shoot. If we have a read again, if players in the blinds are super tight, we, we might open this. Actually gonna try, I think small blind is tight. Um, and we get punished. Maybe he knows me from streaming and just people might play, might play back at me at some point. <laughs> Maybe not, I'm not sure. I might be leveling myself there a little bit too much. 
20 minutes in, let's see. Decent flop, definitely gonna see that. Um, probably bet a lot of turns too, eights I'm gonna flat. Could, could bet smaller, I think. Even bigger, I think everything is kind of fine. But we really have to bet. He shouldn't have too many 5x, I don't think if he's a rack. At least he shouldn't defend that with, with rake and everything. But again, I'm not sure if he even is a wreck or not. Mm, we get a pot size bet here. I think we have to call once at least. Even though it's obviously kind of gross already. I really hope he shuts down now. 27. Now he, he, he sizes down. But river is kind of, you know, a lot of straights get there. We could have pocket fives definitely. Man, I don't know he's, if he's a wreck or not. Mm. Eight is not too amazing. It would be definitely nicer to have like a hand like a six or king six to block some sets he could have. Eight also blocks some bluffs, you know, seven, eight suited he might be, be bluffing. But I mean, he put a turn. This depends if he can show up with some completely random bluffs like jack 10 offshoot or something but we were three ways on the turn and he potted so i don't know if he would play that maybe maybe flash draws he could bluff on the turn for pot size and then keep bluffing on that river but i think eight is just not an amazing bluff catcher there how many hands did we get in 120 almost so yeah let's see we can make some hands, hopefully. <laughs> kind of break even is still. I mean, those aces are really, those aces really hurt. <laughs> oh man. Uh, King seven suited. I think we let's try a free bet once again. Definitely flatting is fine too, but I think he's he's able to fold some hands. I would hope. And uh, yeah, people are not free betting much on two and L, so maybe maybe he gives us some credit. Yeah, ten three suited. I'm actually gonna flat, even though again off suit I would just fold. But we get such a great prize with the flash draw. I'm just gonna lead out. Hopefully, fold out some hands right away. I mean, Big Plant has a super wide range. Lucia, we're gonna bluff turn again, I think. Even though, again, what what could he fold? It's kind of unfortunate that some diamond combos he could have, some ace x, queen x. Maybe he folds an eight. Let's try. Um, I mean, everything gets there. I would really... Nah, we're just gonna give up. It sucks if he has 8x of diamonds. I don't think he folds an ace, so... Yeah, and like that... I mean, it was an open-ender, right? He had, had the king was an out and the 9 for him, so... It's not... Maybe he folds that if I bluff river. Kind of thin, but usually we don't want to have clubs there because those are going to be hands he should have, you know, flash draws. And when we have it, it's less likely he has it, right? So we usually don't want to bluff those combinations. I'm actually going to bluff the jack here. But shut down now, definitely. He's going to have a lot of king X, yeah. Jack is just nice just to fold out some smaller pairs, some A size maybe. And yeah, that's that's about it, I guess. <laughs> Grass is going down again, <laughs> just at the end. <laughs> I think we're gonna free bet this one. He seems quite loose. Not gonna, not gonna play too passive here. Yeah, the snap fold. Yeah, I think free betting is kind of you know effective here. Since people are not used to that too much, probably. Check. And we flop a straight, nice. 
It's gonna lead out again, hopefully get some value, hope for a safe turn, 6 seems nice. Still gonna bet kind of big. We get a min race. I mean, he could have 9-10, he could have a boat, but I think if he has those, he could have some random aces slow plate. I mean, it's 2NL, right? Um, actually, I didn't see he, he was so short here. Then probably we shouldn't free bet too much. There's kind of free bet turn here. Nice, we make a straight. And get it in, obviously. I really hope he doesn't have 10 9. Queen 9, what? And we win it on that river, nice. <laughs> what the heck? How did he play that Queen 9? Yeah, I feel like I give people way too much credit on 2 NL here. Finally, that tops our graph now. <laughs> What the heck, Queen 9? He just sticked it in after a free bet on the turn. Wow. And on that river, you know, uh, we usually are that against this range when he gets it in. You know, even Aces. Aces beat at us there. But we take it, obviously. Nice for us. 50 hands left. Let's, let's take this down today. <laughs> let's not... Let's not go too crazy anymore. Fold, fold. Fold. Pocket force. Kind of close. I think we can open on this table. Only Lucia is kind of annoying, yeah. Our main goal is to steal a blind, usually. Jack 10 8. We're just gonna give up. I mean, Pocket Force has almost no equity here. It really hits his calling range, I guess, so no reason to see that there. Ice Queen suited, seems, seems like a good spot on the button. Lucy again. <laughs> yeah, we get to play against, against him or her, maybe. Just gonna see that big turn is not amazing straight cat there. We still uh, beat all the ace acts, you know, from ace six to ace nine, ten, jack even maybe. But I think usually checking this back. Just gonna fold against the four bet here. Could flat in theory, but and now just gonna value bet, yeah. If he checks again, probably he had something like ace eight, I would guess. Ace seven suited, yeah. A7 suited, that makes sense, definitely. <laughs> he froze not. <laughs> Too paralyzed. Was he the guy who got it in with uh, Queen 9? I don't think so, right? Get two calls. Again, just gonna value bet our two pair. Hope for a good river as well. Hope to get calls. Get it in, obviously. 6 7, wow. Well. I mean, how, how could we lose for, for 600 hands here in 2 NL? <laughs> People are just going crazy, I mean. Six seven offsuit, wow. It's ten, nice flop again. Gonna go a little bigger. We get a min race. Interesting. I mean he's wrapping ace jack pocket sevens. Some draws maybe. We have to ten of diamonds, so less draws available. Definitely calling a standard. Hope for a good turn. Diamond is kind of not amazing because he can definitely check raise some flash draws. But with the 10 of diamonds, we're always calling turn and maybe, maybe even some rivers. I mean, hmm, I have no reads on him again. It's really wrapping a thin range here, mainly flushes, right? Pocket sevens, maybe. We block some flushes with the ten of diamonds. I think the way to go is here to call ace king, ace queen with a diamond and fold this one, maybe, because he might he might be bluffing some hands like ten nine, king ten with uh, ten of diamonds. But again, if you have some reads that he's over bluffing here, call this one as well. If not, I think it's okay just to call ace king, ace queen with. We have so many flashes also. We have boats, like it's not he can. He can't go too crazy there, I would I would say. 
going to free bet. Uh, deuce is going to fold. Again, free betting is also nice because we play, pay less rake, right? That's also a good thing on 2 and L. Mm. And we're going to check this one back. Hope for a 10. Mainly. Ace is kind of decent too. But I don't think we can get two streets. So I'm just going to check back and value bet river. Or call down if he bets. We're just gonna bet. Hopefully, he has a worse ace axe, maybe. 20 cents seems fine. To get a fold. And 19 hands left. We're close. We're close. Fold this one. Fold, ace-3 offsuit I'm gonna open, because uh, blinds seem to be tight, if we get the chance at least, yeah. Lucky just fold, yes, nice. Mm. We're close to the finish line. Mm. Up two euro and seventy five cents right now. So that's definitely a good result. He's probably a fun player, I would guess. Just gonna call, even though big blind is so short. I guess we have to call it if he jams as well. Yeah, it's really annoying that he's so short. But um, SDJ can't reopen, right? Maybe he can actually. How much did he re-raise? 11 cents he had, right? 13 in total. He opened to 6. Yeah, actually he could he could reopen the action. Let's see what he had. We're definitely gonna fold. In Queen Queen 9 suited. Wow. We were even ahead. We would have won the pot. <laughs> but again, just a standard fold, obviously. King 6. Uh, you could you can fold this I think I I, I would over limp just because I think we played we play decent enough post flop but if you have not too much experience you can definitely fold last two hands and then we're gonna sit out ooh I it closed the uh, the table completely <laughs> I'm sorry I'm gonna sit out next hand we have two hundred and two hands now right yes. We got it. Nice. Finally, we won a session on 2NL. Holy. Uh, finally, yes. The curse is broken. We did it. Yeah, I think today we played the best because I really started to adjust a bit, especially free betting. And obviously, we run quite decent at the end now. Otherwise, it would have been tough again. But... I guess also red line is kind of decent, you know, we didn't uh, give give too much away. If we played a pot, we played quite aggressive, but still played tight. I think that's usually the way to go. Like when people play crazy, try to play solid, tight ranges, but don't um like don't don't hear or fall too much as we as we have seen in these examples. All right. Uh I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, um, like, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe always helps. If you have some feedback, some comments, just make sure to put them down below. Um, other than that, stay tuned for what's next to come. As always, have a great time, um, stay positive and see you in the next video. Bye bye.